We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let me encourage everybody. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank the pastor for allowing me to come up here. The Bemerys as well. And the Clays. We got outstanding leadership. Let's be thankful for that. Amen. Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 36. And Joseph, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolidation, or, let's put it this way, son of encouragement. I like that. We go over to the chapter of Book of Acts still. The hope and confidence I want that hope and confidence Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11 it says comfort your, yourselves together and edify one another that's what we need to do edify one another even Pastor Memory talked about that the other day we need to comfort one another the bottom line every one of us we all need encouragement I need encouragement the ministry needs uh, encouragement. Pastor Blankenship needs encouragement. He needs your prayers. He covets them. That man spends hours studying for the Word of God. He gets the Word out and people just come up to him. We appreciate you so much, Pastor. And the next thing you know, is he'll look around and hear about people doing the total opposite that he says. So anyway, I love the man of God. He is an encourager and I appreciate him so much. So you say, you know what? I like to be an encourager. You know, it might not be for everybody, but I'd like it to be. I want to be an encourager. One of the biggest things about encouraging is, number one, smile. <laughs> we all do that smile. I'm talking about a genuine smile, not some plastic smile. You know, just even Pastor Benry mentioned that. He smiled, and he meant it, too, because he's smiling, you know. I love that. Next thing you do? Listen. Listen to what people have to say. Uh, they'll appreciate you very much. Number three, acknowledge. Try to understand why they feel the way they do. Something didn't go good on the job. Somebody's harassing them. Whatever it may be. I noticed uh, they did something right. Encourage them. Yeah, I noticed what you did the other day. Man, that, that's great. Share positive thoughts when they occur. Praise their efforts and progress. Tell them how they helped. It really helps. Boost morale. Give praise in front of other people. Notice when people encourage you. I like to be around people that encourage us. Don't have that Eeyore spirit like, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know. I'm not really sure. Well, if you keep that up, you're not going to be sure. So anyway, let's move on. Tell about their strengths or achievements. Give them a gift that shows you believe in them. And celebrate with them. Maybe take them out. Just really encourage. In this world we're living in today, it's not very encouraging today. Finally, I like to bring this chapter. I think it's the most important scripture of encouragement it comes in 1 Samuel the 30th chapter David and his men 
they came back to Ziglag and found it was burned and their wives and their children were gone. Did anybody, this was the Amalekites, by the way, that destroyed them. We need to destroy sin in our lives. Don't let it hang around. And this is exactly why Saul should have killed these people off because they were so anti-God. They did not love the children or didn't like the children of God at all. And he should have destroyed them and they wouldn't have had this trouble. But anyway, as we all stand on this last scripture, you can stand, please. <laughs> I want you all to look at this. It says, and David was greatly distressed. You can easily replace David and put your name. Brother Caprio was greatly distressed. For the people, hopefully nobody's going to stone me. But anyway, it says, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. Ladies, it's great to have a man that would pray for you and grieve for you. Thank you, Jesus. And the last part of this is what I like the most. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Put your name there. Be blessed, saints. Be encouraged. In Jesus' name.